Hi, I'm Bradley Simmons, and this is the Back and Bicep 20 Minute Workout. Today, all you need is a barbell, weighted plates, three sets of dumbbells, and a bench. I'm gonna take you through five exercises. First, we're gonna do a superset. We're then gonna do a tricep, guys. So pay attention, listen to me carefully, and we'll get the job done together. I'm gonna take you through the exercises before we start the workout, so you're familiar with the techniques. The first exercise we're gonna do is the bent over barbell row. This is a 60 kg barbell. If this is too heavy, then obviously go down to 40, 50, or just a barbell. Nice and simple, you need to stand underneath the barbell, feet shoulder width apart, you're gonna bend over, your chest nice and high. You're gonna reach down and grab onto the barbell. You're then gonna come into a deadlift position, chest nice and high, make sure your back is not arched. Pick the barbell up, and you're gonna come into this position. We're then gonna hinge at the hips, and we're gonna come down, scraping the legs, making sure our back is nice and neutral, our chin is down, and we're gonna roll the barbell into our sternum. Just at the lower part of our chest, have a good old pinch, back down, and we go again. That's exercise number one. We're then gonna go on to hammer curls. Again, we're gonna be nice and soft at the knees, feet just about shoulder width apart, Hammer curls, nice and simple, which is going to curl the dumbbells just above, making sure there's tension still on those biceps and back down. Nice eccentric movement to make those biceps burn. So the first two exercises, we're going to do a superset. We're going to do 10 reps on the barbell bent over row, then we're going to go straight into the hammer curls. This is a good superset to target both back and biceps. We're going to start with 10 reps on the barbell, feet shoulder width apart, get into that deadlift position, chest nice and high, pick that barbell up, hinge at the hips, and we're going to come in this position here, parallel to the floor. We're going to do 10 reps. One, two, three, four, Keep that chin down. Stand up, bring the barbell down nice and safely. Grab hold of your two dumbbells. And we go into 10 reps of hammer curls. Two more reps, last rep, and rest guys. We're now gonna rest about 30 seconds. Let our body recover. Again, shoulder width apart, chest nice and high, pick the barbell up, hinge up the hips, bring that barbell just to the sternum, and we go 10 reps. Stand up, come down, Pick the dumbbells up. We're going to hammer curls. Ten reps. Nice and soft at the knees. guys. Two sets done, one more set guys. You should be feeling that burn now. Got another 30 seconds of recovery and then we're on to the last set.
to our last set, guys, before moving on to the next exercise. So again, shoulder width apart. Nice grip of the barbell. Go into that deadlift position. Hinge at the hips. Make sure your back is nice, your body is nice and parallel to the floor. Back nice and straight, nice and neutral. Bring that barbell into the sternum. 10 reps. And rest guys there. Good, pick up those dumbbells. This is the last 10 reps. You're gonna feel the burn. And we drive up hammer curls. Keep those elbows nice and tight to the body. Make sure we don't swing. Last rep. And rest, guys. Good. Woo! That's the first we've done, guys. You've now got a minute to two minutes rest. I'm now gonna demonstrate the next exercises. Okay guys, for this one, you need full piece of equipment. You need a bench, you need 20 kg dumbbells, you need five kg dumbbells, and you need a 20 kg bar. Three exercise, a good tricep. You're going to target those back and those biceps. First exercise, chest to bench, double dumbbell rows. So you're gonna come onto the bench, get yourself nice and comfortable. If you want your sternum to be at the top of the bench, Grab hold of to the dumbbells, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna row, and you're gonna squeeze for two. When you come back down, you're gonna row, and you're gonna squeeze for two. That's the first exercise. You're then gonna come on to back flies. So this is another great exercise. Get nice and comfortable, stay in the same position on the bench, and all you're gonna do is keep your chin down, and you're gonna fly, back fly, bring it to the middle, and again, we're gonna go 10 reps, guys. Once you finish that, guys, you're then gonna come onto the barbell. You're gonna complete 21 reps of the barbell. So again, this is just a simple barbell bicep curl, but we're doing 21. All you can do, you're gonna start off, you can get yourself into 90 degree position, elbows nice and tight. You bring the barbell down, and you're gonna bring it back into that 90 degree position. From there, you're gonna bring it to the top. You're then gonna bring it to the midpoint. Again, 90 degrees, bring it to the top. Seven reps of that. Then at the very end, the last seven reps, you're gonna go all the way. Again, make sure your back is nice and straight. We're not swinging. Nice, our core is nice and engaged. Elbows are nice and tight. And we go all the way. 21 reps in total. First exercise, chest to bench. Grab hold of your dumbbells. We go for 10 reps, guys, and let's go. So you'll definitely be feeling those biceps from the previous two exercises. Shake it off if you need to, like me. Get back into the position, and then you'll do 10 reps of the back flies. 10 reps. Two great exercises to target upper back. Shake off, guys, and then we come on to the barbell. So you're in your, bar, your hands, equally a part of the barbell. First seven reps, bring it to midway point, and we bring it down. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring all the way to the top. Burn in. Bring to midway point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there are seven reps, guys. Making sure we keep that form correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and rest, guys. Two, chest to bench, double dumbbell row. Again, remember you want your sternum at the top of the bench. Grab a good grip of the two dumbbells. Get nice and comfortable. Row the dumbbells into your body and have a good pinch at the top. And again, we go for 10 reps. That's one rep. Let's go. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Then grab on to the two five kg dumbbells. I'm going to go into back flies. Ten good reps. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Shake it off, guys. On to the third exercise, 21 barbell curl. Get a good grip of the barbell, nice and equal. Start at the lower point. We hit the midpoint, 90 degree angle. Go back down, seven reps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you're there, at the top, we then come down to the midpoint, 90 degree angle, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the way to the top now, all the way to the bottom. Make sure our back is nice and straight. Seven good reps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, you've got another one to two minutes rest before we do our last set, guys. Guys, you've done really well so far. Stay in there, we've got our last bit to do, one more set to do, and that's the workout finished. Those two dumbbells, get a good grip, and a row, and squeeze. Ten reps. <sighs> oh. 10 reps done, grab yourself two five kg dumbbells and we can go to back flies, 10 reps. Woo. 
Feeling it now. Shake off, guys. If you need to rest, you can rest. We're going to do our last 21 reps now of the barbell curl. Go on to that barbell. First seven reps. Start midpoint. Come down to this lowest point. Seven good reps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come to the top point. Go down to the midpoint. 90 degree angle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Deep breath, guys. Make sure your back is nice and straight. Last seven rips of the workout. One, two, three, four, five, six, ah, and seven. Woo! That's the workout done, guys. Well done, guys, for completing that tough workout. Liked it, I want to hear your feedback. Comment below, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next workout. Thank you for watching, thank you for taking part. Stay tuned for the next workout.